Today we're gonna have a classic Chicago style hot dog from Portillo's. Chicagoans love their Portillo's. The line at the drive-thru is crazy. And then you think, I know, I'll just go inside. And then it turns out the line inside is crazy too. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So I need you to get in really close because I don't want anybody else to hear. I think this might be my first hot dog from Portillo's. And the reason is because the beef and cheddar croissant is amazing. So every time I go there, I get the beef and cheddar croissant. So don't tell anybody, do me a favor. Let's keep this between us. Let's take a look at the bag here. It's a beautiful bag. Then I think people have to go to school when they, when they work here to understand what this stuff means. When you place your order, they write it on the bag and then it goes down this assembly line and somebody else knows what all of this stuff means. There's a, there's a C down here. I don't know what any of it means. Um, but that's how they do it. That's their, uh, their process of efficiency. So let's open this up, take a look, let's see why everybody loves this hot dog. Get out of the way, Coke. Okay. Well, there you go. Here's the thing, right? So this hot dog is getting to be a little bit uh, elderly at this point. Uh, it's about it's about 20 minutes old. And, you know, no, no hot dog should ever live that long. But don't worry, I'm going to put it out of its misery. And let's take a look here. So we've got our pickle. Huge. It's like a quarter of a pickle. We've got our sport peppers and slices of tomato. And that's important because, you know, sometimes people think that this should be a wedge. It should not be a wedge of tomato. That's entirely too much tomato. Uh, we've got mustard and onion and bright green sweet relish. So this is, this is a classic Chicago style hot dog. Uh, let's keep these guys out on top because they look nice. And so that, and then we've got this poppy seed bun. And then if you look, you look right there. See that? That means this is a natural casing. And let's take a bite. Here we go. You know, honestly, it's really good. <laughs> it's delicious. Um, there's a wonderful interplay of, of uh, textures and temperatures. Uh, and there's a wonderful smokiness from the hot dog. And of course, you know, I'm just starting, I just nipped that pickle. Um, mm. Well, here's the thing. So now I got a really good bite of pickle. I got to tell you, that's what it tastes like. It mostly tastes like pickle. That is a huge pickle. I gotta tell you, big fella, you got one heck of a pickle on you. But otherwise, all the things that people love about Chicago-style hot dogs, they've got, they've got it. Um, you've got a number of different uh, tart ingredients, from the relish to the pickle. Um, even this sort of pickled pepper, this is packed in some kind of a brine. So. Overall, it's a bit, it's a bit salty, uh, and because this, it's a, it's a steamed bun, but because this has actually been around a little while, the bun's actually getting a little soggy, unfortunately. Uh, but it's, it's really good. Mm. It's the incredible disappearing hot dog. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. So there's like a crunchiness, of course, there's the softness and the chewiness of the, the bun. A, a lot of wonderful things. Aromatic onions. This is uh, 
Actually, it's even better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Uh, <laughs> The one thing I would say is that's a little bit it's a little bit difficult. Like I see a hot dog, but I, I don't really taste the hot dog that much with all these um, ingredients on top. Uh looks like we've wow, we ran out of pickle. Uh maybe maybe uh things will change with the disappearance of the pickle. Mm. Mm. Oop. Let's try this. This is a sport pepper, and I don't think these would exist at all if it weren't for Chicago-style hot dogs. I mean, this is just about the only thing that anybody ever uses these for. Mm. It's one of those things that it was hard to put down once you pick it up. You just start firing through it. Um, it was really good. We're down to almost nothing now. Hmm. So yeah, I definitely the the hot dog comes out a lot more when you when once you start to run out of toppings. And yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Okay. So there I ate the whole thing. And uh I think in summary, I'm gonna say wow. It was a really big pickle, and it really eclipses the flavor of the hot dog itself, like the, the meat part. I know that they have a jumbo on the menu, and maybe that is a little bit more balanced. Next time I will try that. The other thing I would say is that these guys do food right, and the stature of this chain and their dedication to quality I think makes the Portillo's hot dog is sort of the yardstick of Chicago style hot dogs. But overall, I'd say on a scale of one to five stars, it gets a three stars. It is very good. If you could give three and a half stars, I would probably would. It's not a four. You gotta reserve some room for really, really good. So I'd say overall, it was great. It was wonderful. I would definitely go back and I would definitely recommend you go there. Thanks a lot and tune in again for another one of our food reviews. <laughs>